and hello everybody, welcome back to Thieves Notebook Review. I'm your host, Joel Michael, and what we're doing today is we're losing in Rocket League. I didn't even... I just jumped into this match. I didn't know that was my goal that they were going to. <laughs> we're playing games today, of course, and that is actually really loud. Let's lower that one. It was at maximum, so we're going to lower it to about 52... We're playing games with the Acer Nitro 5, the notebook that I just reviewed. You can watch that in the top right-hand corner right now. And uh, I'm going to see if I can get this ball away. Yes, a little bit. <laughs> I nudged it away from that guy, at least. This notebook has the 11th Gen Core i5. Not the, not the lowest model Core i5, the little bit of a higher-end Core i5. The 11400H, there's also a 300H underneath that. This is the 400H, that has 6 cores and 12 threads, mated to 12 megabytes of L3 cache. That's Core i7 figures from the previous generation Core i7, the 10750, I do believe. This is Rocket League on the GTX 1650. And we're getting well over 144 frames per second. It's bouncing up to over 200 at times. Quite impressive. I do really like it. Of course, this is Windows 11, meaning that this could crash on me at any given moment. This notebook came with only 8 gigs of RAM, but I ordered it with an additional 8 gigs. So we're using 16 right now, and the performance is just... its very satisfactory, at least for Rocket League. We're going to get into some more intense games here in a bit uh, that might uh, prove to be a little bit more of a challenge for the baseline GTX graphics card in mobile devices. Uh, well, baseline GTX graphics card, period. Hey, let's move on to the next game. Now we're in control. The game, I mean. This is the low details preset here with the GTX 1650. We're gonna fight some red dudes. Take chair, my friend, and then some lead. Hey, you take lead first, and then more lead. Yes, I'm discriminating against you <laughs> with vile prejudice. I love playing this part of the game, at least. It gets kind of boring later for me, but, you know, whatever, to each their own, right? Low details, we're getting well over 60 frames per second. This is very smooth, especially on this laptop's 144 hertz monitor. It looks good, except for the ghosting that I complained about in my review. Yes, it is very apparent, and also, I can definitely feel the input lag. This is not exceptional input lag for a high-resolution display at all. And why did I get an achievement for it? This is the same... This is like the, the fifth repetition I've made of the same fight. Why am I earning achievements for anything at this point? Here's something I can earn an achievement for. Trying this game in medium details. Let's see how it works. And now we're in medium details in control. This is just the medium details preset. It's all presets that I'm using. And as we can see, the frame rate has definitely dropped significantly. Actually, I mean, when it's this low, you can't really say that it drops significantly. But when you are this low in FPS, a 15 to 20 FPS drop is very significant. And this game is obviously slower to play. You can tell because I suck at it now as I just died. Oh, I see how it is. They kill me and then run away. Hmm, well that's okay because even when we're not fighting, our FPS is still pretty low and our inputs are very laggy. Ugh, this is not exactly how I'd want to play this game at all. And I'm really glad that I know that low details works so well, and I just got something cool, but I don't know what it was. Hey, this has been playing Control on the Ace Metro 5. Let's move on to the next game. And what are we playing now? It's Witcher 3, of course, in the maximum detail settings possible, except for NVIDIA Hairworks. NVIDIA Hairworks is off. It always will be off 
and it will only be turned on when Biden admits that he's ruining our country on purpose with his trillion dollar spending bills. In other words, never. Hey, we're running through the market right now at maximum details. We're getting sub 60 frames per second, but you know what? It's still kind of playable. Yes, the input lag is still there because our monitor isn't going to let us have good uh, response time, but you know what? That's okay in this case. Because because in Witcher 3, response time doesn't really matter all that much. It's still a fun game to play, even though our inputs are a little laggy. So we're going to head down to the pier now and see just what our frame rate looks like. This is the least intensive part of our little test run that I always do, and we're getting about 60 frames per second, a little bit higher. So let's go ahead and see if we can find some settings that uh, better suit my 60 FPS preference. And now we've loaded the game with high details. That's high details and high post-processing. And we are getting almost 60 FPS through the marketplace there. Much smoother than it was before. I can dig it. And we're going over 60 FPS in other parts of Novigrad. So I'm very satisfied with this performance. Input lag is, of course, still there, but that's okay, especially for Witcher 3. This is fine. I would play this game on this laptop with these settings, absolutely. Let's see what the peer is like. Now that we have lowered the detail settings just a smidge. Ooh, we're getting over 70 FPS here. It is remarkably smooth. I can dig that very much. Is it a video file smooth? I would say so. I would give this a video file pass right here. This panning motion, you may not be able to see it on YouTube because it's probably skipping a couple frames here and there, but when I'm looking at through the monitor, it is very smooth. And I can dig it. I can dig it lots. Hey, let's move on to the next game. We're playing The Rise of Raider of Tombs right now in high details preset and whoa. How did that guy not see me? <laughs> I have no idea. We're getting about 45 FPS in this part of the game right now. Uh, when we start to approach our enemies. And I gotta say, I have seen better frame rates in this part of the game. With this laptop, this must be one of the most intensive parts of the game. Especially since it has to do with rendering other people. Can they see me in this bush? I hope not, because I am still kind of exposed here. Mm, this guy's head looks like it needs an arrow through it. I missed. So what's nice about camping in bushes is you can lower your detail and no one really seems to bother you. This guy looks like he could die now. Oh! We're getting about 60 FPS, maybe a little bit less than 60 in most cases, but... How did that guy not see me? This game. But that's alright, very smooth with the panning, um, and yeah. Uh, of course, input's still a little bit laggy, but never gonna be able to not complain about that on the Acer Nitro 5. And if you want to fix it, all you got to do is plug it into an external monitor, that's all. Wow, that guy felt like a sack of potatoes! This is the detail level that I would play this game at at all times. That is the medium details preset. Oh, now they see me. Oh, okay, I see how it is. Hey! Uh, let's get out of this dangerous situation by moving on to the next game. My friends, it is time! It is time for the- <laughs> Sorry. Kind of choked on my cough drop. It is time for Valheim. The one game that has the correct run button, that is the left bumper. Not uh, pressing down the L3 button, which sucks for running. Take note, game devs. We're in the middle of my big ol' his house. And this game might have seen a couple of uh, graphical updates and uh, streamlining efficiency upgrades. Within the past few months, I actually haven't been playing it much, but uh, before, when I've played on GTX 1650 machines, at these detail levels that you'll see up above, uh, I didn't really get all that fantastic of frame rates, but here, we're able to get at least over 60 FPS in some parts of my house, which is a feat 
in and of itself. Hey, let's go forth and kick. Don't sit down. Why is X the sit down button? I need to change that. Kill the crow. <laughs> and he did. <laughs> oh. No, you're supposed to duck. There we go. Oh, crap. Oh, the crow's back. Okay, I'm going somewhere else. And now we're inside a burial chamber because I'm running away from that giant troll outside. And we're getting just about 100 FPS, so that's pretty cool. So as long as you can put up with the low frame rates inside of your hovel, this is probably the detail levels that I would play this game at. Just for ishes and gigs, we're going to turn the detail level in Valheim up to the maximum. Let's just, for the heck of it, see what the inside of my his house looks like. We were getting sub 60 in the last detail level that we were at. Now, at the maximum, we are sinking. <laughs> we are drowning in them, their sub 30 FPS range. So yes, this is definitely not the detail level that I would want to play this game at on the GTX 1650. I much prefer the detail level that we were just at. Let's move on to the next game. Now we're playing a game called Hello Infinite. That's Greek for the forever long hello. And uh, we're in the lowest of the low details preset. Wow, you can't really get past the enemy line all that well now, can ya? This is a very large map, and it's running decently well, I must say. This game, of course, you have to run by pressing down L1, a method of running that I decried in previous games. This is uh, definitely not the greatest gaming experience because of that input lag that I've been also QQing about this whole time. But, uh, yeah, I just killed a guy, so... You know, it's not impossible to have a good time. You just won't have as good of a time. So here we are now in the medium details preset. The action is noticeably less smooth, but it isn't half bad, although, I don't know. No, I definitely would not want to play the game in this detail level at all. Hey, let me get in here, brah. Okay, no, maybe not. I'll just defend you, ass. This is medium details, not low. If you ask me what the difference is, I wouldn't be able to tell you, to be honest with you. All I would be able to tell you what the difference is, is that the frame rate is a little bit lower, and it feels a little bit lower. That is for sure. Somebody else please finish that guy off for me. Hey, this has been Hello Infinite on the Acer Nitro 5. Let's move on to the next game. Next up is Forza Horizon 5, the wokest of the woke. At least when it comes to video games. We're in the Chevy Corvette, which looks beautiful in the high details preset. Unlike Forza Horizon 4, uh, MSI Afterburner works pretty well in Forza Horizon 5. And I'll say that in all of my gameplay testing that I've done so far, it's only been Horizon 5 that crashed completely on me in Windows 11. But frame rates are actually pretty good here in the high, in the high details preset. Not the highest details preset, but high. I th you know, when it gets down to 60 FPS, though, it really starts to get a little jaggedy. Even in 63, you can still see a little bit of jaggies. And when it gets up to 65 frames per second, that's when things start to get really, really smooth. But when it goes below 65, yeah, it's it could be better. But for the most part, this what the heck? I should have <laughs> I should not have plowed right through that guardrail. I'm driving a Corvette C8 tank. Well, that's new. This is in the extreme, the highest details preset with the GTX 1650 with only four gigs of GDDR6 VRAM. It's telling me I'm running low on video memory. Don't show me this message again. Do I even need to get into a race right now? 
<laughs> I am running around the crowds at less than 30 FPS. I can see how it's uh, much more detailed than it was before. That's pretty cool. But other than that, um, yeah, I'd be hard pressed. I really would. Except the shadows definitely look sharper. That also looks uh, much better. More foliage? Okay, yeah. You can tell <laughs> more easily in Forza Horizon 5 than in Halo Infinite, at least. Hey, let's move on to the next game. And here we are now playing Doom Eternal on the Acer Nitro 5. This is the high details preset. I've got dudes all around me right now, and we're still getting about 60 FPS. It's uh, sinking down below 60 FPS every now and again, but you know what? That's okay. It's still pretty smooth. It's still very controllable. I'm still ready to almost die. Oh, let's see if I can get out of here. No, it's trapping me in here with all of these mean things. Oh, I hope I don't die. Hey, let's change it up to a higher details preset and see if I can stay alive a little bit longer because I, my frame rate's lower. Now, we were able to change up quite a few settings, but the game would not let me go up to the next level of texture quality. I can't go higher than medium in this game because the uh, texture pool size is too big. Only having four gigs of memory isn't that great, apparently, but uh, a lot of other things like reflection quality and shadows, other things of that nature, we're more than ready to go up to nightmare settings. Come on. Oh, jump cut. We're getting excellent frame rate here, except for the lack of VRAM is making our texture pool size stay at a minimum. But you know what? It's not half bad. I would totally not mind playing this game at these detail levels all the time. I don't really understand why it has to be any better than this. The lighting is excellent. The textures are excellent. I don't know, man. <laughs> Modern PC gaming, it befuddles me. Hey, just like why I can't get anywhere in this game. Let's move on to something else. Next up is, of course, going to be Overwatch. Here we are in the... I think we're in epic details right now. It's going at about 80 plus FPS for the most part, but I gotta tell you, it doesn't feel like 80 to 90 FPS. In fact, it feels like a lot less, and my inputs are definitely very laggy. This guy is being super annoying. He always is flanking us from all sides, and it sucks, and he sucks, and now he's dead. And that's that. V-Sync is not on. And something that's funky about the way that this game booted in Windows 11 is that every time it started, or when I quit the game, my brightness on my monitor would drop. Like, <laughs> the monitor would grow dim when I started the game and when I left the game. I don't get it. Why? Why Windows 11? Why would you do that? I'm going to try lowering the detail levels now and see if I can get a little bit more of a smooth experience because it should definitely be possible. Huh? Here we are now in the just ultra details preset. We, unlike uh, Epic, what we were just in, there are a few things that have toned down. Like most other games, I have no idea what they are. If you were to give me the side-by-side -side comparison, I'd be all like, eh, maybe I can find a few things that are different, but for the most part, not really. The only thing I really notice is the frame rates are much more smooth. Uh, we're going about 30 to 40 more FPS on average than we were in Epic. And uh, the gameplay is noticeably smoother, but I think there is still <laughs> room for improvement here. Especially on this 144 hertz panel, I think there's a little bit more that we can eck out of the performance of this display. So I would probably want to lower the details even more from where they are right now, so that I could get an extra gamer's edge while playing Overwatch 
tearing. Screen tearing is a very serious problem right now, and it is seriously bugging me. And I can't play this game for forever. I might go insane because of all the screen tearing. Otherwise, this is a this is a good experience. I wouldn't mind if this was uh, what I was stuck with for the rest of my life. You know, I'd be I'd be content. I but I would always have that little feeling in the back of my mind that. Yeah, things can be a little bit better, I think. You know, yeah. Hey, this has been Playing Games with the Acer Nitro 5 here on Thieges Notebook Review. If you guys liked the video, don't forget to leave a little like down below. And also, hey, give me a comment because that will help me out much more than leaving a like, I do believe. Or you could do both. I don't mind doing both. Or you could dislike it if actually no. Like, you know what? I, I have previously suggested in my videos that you can dislike it if you want, but you can't dislike it anymore. Sorry about that. Anyway, thank you very much for watching, everybody, and you guys have a good night.